WWE legend John Cena and AEW world champion MJF were among the wrestling stars in attendance at Monday's The Iron Claw Los Angeles premiere. The DGA Theater Complex hosted Monday's red carpet Los Angeles premiere of A24's The Iron Claw film. Kevin Von Erich, Lacey Von Erich, Liv Morgan, Baron Corbin, CJ Perry, and Ryan Nemeth were among the other wrestling personalities on hand for the LA debut of the Von Erich family biopic. MJF plays the role of Lance Von Erich in The Iron Claw and is also also an executive producer on the project. CM Punk is officially entering the Royal Rumble. On Monday's Raw, CM Punk officially signed with the Raw brand. After signing with Raw, Seth Rollins came out and told CM Punk that he should not call WWE his home because he left 10 years ago. Seth Rollins said it was his home now and he would do everything in his power to keep people like CM Punk away from it. Punk responded by saying that nothing has ever been handed to him and made it official that he was declaring for the Royal Rumble. Earlier in the promo, CM Punk said that his choice was made when he heard that Raw would be at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. He said this was the building where he made his debut with Mickey James only to be sent to OBW after the match. It was also the building where he was kicked in the head by Randy Orton, having to be stripped of the World Heavyweight title. He said it was 10 years ago he had to make the hardest decision of his life and understood that people were disappointed in him, and he even apologized. He said it was nearly 10 years ago to the day he walked out, and 10 years later, he's walking right back in. That was when Seth Rollins came out as the two had a stare down. Rollins added that he hated CM Punk, but wanted him to be on Raw as he knew this was Punk's last chance. He said either Punk would self-destruct or, if he had any gas left in the tank, win the Royal Rumble and face Rollins in a World Heavyweight title match. Rollins said that would be the match where he would expose CM Punk for the fraud that he is. CM Punk made his return to WWE back at Survivor Series in November. In the weeks since his return, announcers pushed that Punk was a free agent. He made appearances both on Friday's SmackDown and on NXT's Deadline event on Saturday. And speaking of that Friday night SmackDown return, Friday night's Tribute to the Troops edition of WWE SmackDown, which featured CM Punk's first appearance on the brand since he returned to the company, averaged 2.384 million viewers on Fox. That's up 16.6% from the previous week and is the highest audience total for the show since October 13th. SmackDown drew a 0.63 rating in the 18-49 demo. That's up 6.8% from the last week and is the highest rating the show has done in that category since October 6th. SmackDown led all of the broadcast networks, nearly doubling the second place competition. As compared to the same week in 2022, SmackDown was up 3.4% in overall viewers and up 10.5% in 18-49. Some more Seth Rollins news. Seth Rollins could become a free agent next year. Fightful reported on Monday that Seth Rollins' WWE contract is said to expire in June 2024. Two sides have not spoken about a possible extension, but WWE is expected to make re-signing the 37-year-old a top priority. Becky Lynch's contract is also believed to expire around June 2024, as has been previously reported. She signed a new deal with WWE in 2021, and the time she spent on maternity leave is not expected to be tacked on to the length of her contract. Rollins first signed with WWE in 2010. He made his main roster debut as a member of The Shield at Survivor Series 2012. In his time with the company, Rollins is a two-time WWE Champion, one-time and current World Heavyweight Champion, two-time Universal Champion, one-time and inaugural NXT Champion, six-time Tag Team Champion, 2019 Men's Royal Rumble winner, 2014 Money in the Bank winner, two-time Intercontinental Champion, and two-time United States Champion. Drew McIntyre is getting another World Heavyweight title match. On Monday's Raw, he was seen talking to GM Adam Pearce when CM Punk walked up to them. Drew said that he wasn't interested in Cody's story or Punk's story because he was going to finish his own story. 
as he got a World Heavyweight title match on the Day 1 edition of WWE Raw, which takes place January 1st in San Diego. Earlier in the night, Drew McIntyre defeated Jey Uso after raking Uso in the eyes and connecting with a Claymore. Drew has never forgiven Jey for what he and the Bloodline did to him last year and attacked Jay after he lost to Seth Rollins on last week's Raw. He last got a World Heavyweight title match back in November when he lost to Seth Rollins in Saudi Arabia. He later admitted to Rollins that his loss was on him and it could be the best thing that's ever happened to him. Soon after that, he aligned with the Judgment Day at Survivor Series for their War Games match where they lost to Cody Rhodes' team. Carmelo Hayes will be taking part in the WWE United States Championship Contenders Tournament. As revealed by Shawn Michaels in a video posted to WWE social media channels on Sunday, Carmelo Hayes will be the NXT star facing Grayson Waller in the quarterfinals match on the Friday, December 15th SmackDown episode. Carmelo Hayes is coming off of a victory over Alexis King at Saturday night's NXT deadline. Kevin Owens will face Austin Theory in another quarterfinals match on Friday SmackDown. On the other side of the bracket, Bobby Lashley and Santos Escobar have already advanced to the semifinals after wins on this past Friday's episode. The tournament winner will challenge United States champion Logan Paul at a date yet to be announced. Logan Paul defeated Rey Mysterio at last month's Crown Jewel event to win the U.S. title. Former AEW Women's World Champion Thunder Rosa says she's ready to return. The 37-year-old hasn't wrestled since August 2022 due to a back injury. However, Thunder Rosa recently told the News 4 in San Antonio that she is ready to return to the ring and is just waiting on a call from her boss. News 4 reported that Thunder Rosa will make her return to the ring on December 23rd when AEW Collision takes place at the Frost Bank Center in San Antonio, Texas. However, AEW has yet to make Rosa's in-ring return official for the show. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to F4W Online for plenty more wrestling news.